A new paper published in the Nature Journal, Quantum Information, explores the quantum computing potential of time travel. It's a pretty heady technical topic, but allow me to explain the basics in terms we can all appreciate time travel science fiction. Let's unpack this topic. First of all, quantum computing is a field that looks to the computational potential of quantum mechanical phenomena. All the weirdness of the quantum realm. You know, that place that uh, Paul Rudd goes to in Ant-Man. We're talking the realm of superposition and entanglement. According to physicist David Deutsch, the superposition of qubits, quantum bits of information that can simultaneously exist as a one and a zero and everything in between, can theoretically allow a quantum computer to work on a million computations at once. Entangling those qubits allows us to measure each one's value without disturbing the system's integrity. Google says that they've created a quantum computer that can work a hundred million times faster than our laptops, but why dream small? Perhaps, as researcher Dave Bacon posited, you could enable your quantum computer to send particles backwards through time along a closed time-like curve. Think of it as a wormhole that loops back around to the same point in space-time, all totally in keeping with general relativity. It's like if the ship from Event Horizon slipped into its artificial black hole, took a little jaunt through hell, and then came back out at the same moment that it went in. What's the point of such a journey? Well, blasting information-coded particles through such a time loop could supercharge a quantum computer enough to solve some otherwise impossible computations. But of course, you're still talking about sending something backwards through time, and that's where the universe's big time cop comes into play, causality. In this universe, cause always comes before the effect, not the other way around. There's no killing your own grand father, and if you could travel back in time to kill Hitler, then he never existed and you had no reason to go back in the first place, thus negating your whole time-traveling murder vacation to begin with. And critics argue that time cop causality would break up the theoretical computing party in this closed time-like curve as the time-traveling particle interacts with its past self takes its own mother to the prom, etc. And this is where we get to this 2015 paper from a team of international quantum researchers. They argue that by quantum entangling a time-traveling quantum computation particle, you could lock it, resulting in an open timeline curve. You wouldn't have to worry about broken causality, Marty McFly blinking out of existence, or two Ron Silvers melting into a pile of goo because they would never meet. The curve is open, not closed. It all reminds one of Ray Bradbury's 1952 short story, A Sound of Thunder, in which time-traveling dinosaur hunters have to stick to a levitating walkway and only shoot dinos that are about to die anyway. This latest batch of quantum computing theory would seem to suggest that with proper manipulation of quantum entanglement and the right grasp of general relativity, an open time-like curve can operate as our own levitating walkway above the pitfalls of time travel. You know, for particles at any rate. So hey, I know this is a really heady topic, so make sure you check out the links below if you want a deeper dive. And in the meantime, if you want more mind-rending science weirdness, be sure to visit now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.